explosion and regression. Very interesting video. You can skip if you like. Now we are going to do it for three main purposes. What is correlation? It's a measure of linear association. Secondly, what is, how correlation is measured? Correlation is simply average of standard units of x and y. Average of x minus x bar divided by sigma x, y minus y bar divided by sigma y. Y correlation is positive, negative, that's our next objective. So you have uh, the standard units, if dots here dominate as compared to this quadrant, correlation is positive, otherwise correlation if dots here. Uh, in second and fourth quadrant correlation is negative let's see it in a very interesting way let's go here have a point here this point correlation is one, minus one minus 0 0.52 0 0.11 so you have many dots here if it's a circular okay correlation is 0 0.20 why it's 0 0.20 it's, uh, still it's not clear but I'm going to explain it very soon show mean of x and mean of y so you see these x positive 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 negative 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 positive positive so this product in standard units here is positive in third quadrant it's positive in fourth quadrant in the second quadrant it's uh, negative because this is positive this is uh, this is uh, x is negative here y is positive product is negative so correlation that's why we say that if dots move in the uh, 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 same direction both positive correlation is positive if both negative correlation is positive if both move in opposite direction correlation is negative so you can have more and more dots and no, as uh, these positive quadrants are dominating, so you can have so many dots. And <coughs> one final objective of this correlation is to have uh, to to find out what is impact of outlier. So this is point seven nine zero uh, one. So if we have single outlier, single outlier here, you see correlation becomes almost zero point one one, and it becomes negative. So correlation is very sensitive to outliers. Why it is very sensitive to outliers? Because correlation is based on bivariate normal distribution. Normal distribution is very sensitive to outliers. If we fit a, uh, fit a line, show least square line. So again, you see this outlier is uh, uh, making this line a bad fit. So in presence of outliers, never use OLS. Look here. Okay, this is this is how you will find. Okay, if outlier is in y-axis, it's not going to change the line very much. But if outlier is in x-axis, so you see, here you have very large value of x. So this makes line a bad fit. Okay, you see, this is this is single line, single value is making the whole difference. So that's how you see that how outlier is, uh, affects your least square line as well as your correlation. So please be careful and always make a plot before going for fitting this one. So you have now this one. What are residuals? You can show residuals here. And again, a single outlier may distort these residuals. Because the gap between this blue line and this one, if the original line is here, will be very, very large and its square will become further large. So it, what happens? This line comes slightly closer to this point and slightly deviates from this point and it makes it a bad fit. So in place of, uh, in case of outliers, always use uh, a least absolute deviation method. So this is, this is uh, the, the gap between red point and blue dot, is, uh, blue line is your residual. Thank you for watching, take care.